Welcome to the Bold Encourager. I am Rebecca. Today I will be trying the Impossible Whopper at Burger King and the Impossible Starbucks breakfast sandwich. So please stay tuned. So I'm gonna try the Impossible Whopper burger. I've only tried it once before and it was a long time ago. So I don't remember exactly how good it was. I just remember it being good. So let me go ahead and try it. I'm gonna rate it for you as well. Also, this was $5.69 for just the burger. So totally reasonable because of the size. I definitely think it's worth $5.69 for one. But let's go ahead and try it. And it is actually the burger itself is vegan but depending on the toppings will make it vegan or vegetarian because the burger itself impossible burger is vegan but if there's mayo of course or cheese that takes the vegan out of it and makes it vegetarian so let's go ahead and try it So I do like that it's very burger-like. It tastes a lot like the Whopper, so that makes it the plus side of it. I also like that it has the grilled flavor to it. It gives it a little something extra, a lot more flavor because it has that grilled flavor to it. It's seasoned well. It doesn't have a weird aftertaste. So I'm gonna give it an 8.4. I'm gonna compare it to the other items that I've eaten from Del Taco as a comparison of what I think tastes the most like meat. This has a really great flavor. It's really good. I still believe it or not like the avocado Del Taco a little just a little bit more that's why it has an 8.4 that one I gave an 8.6 but I still like it better than the other burritos so definitely a plus I would highly recommend this burger to anyone that is vegan or vegetarian and of course you can get fries because those are plant-based as well maybe not healthy but hey if you're on the road and you want to enjoy a good burger and you're vegan or vegetarian, well, you can go ahead and get this burger. Good morning. So today I am going to try the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich from Starbucks. I had them remove the egg and the cheese so it was more vegan. You can actually have it with the egg and the cheese if you're vegetarian. Um, but this is a plant-based sausage and the sausage has 16 grams of protein. So I'm going to go ahead and try it and rate it as well and let you know what I think. First off, the price of this is $4.95, so close to the $5 mark on these sandwiches. And look how tiny it is, so right off the back, it's not giving me the best impression because it's very small for that amount of money. Uh, I also picked up a caramel macchiato with almond milk so it was a vegan coffee uh, so let's go ahead and give it a try and rate it the bread's okay it's not a decent bun that they use it's like almost like a ciabatta bun The meat's okay. It's kind of dry. It's not the greatest. 
I wouldn't really recommend this to anyone. It's really pricey and it's not that great. Maybe it tastes better with egg and cheese. I'm not sure, but the meat's kind of dry. And the Whopper was way better. So, I'm gonna rate this with the price and everything. I'm gonna rate this a 5.3. So it's the lowest so far. Not my favorite. Not worth the five bucks. So definitely not something you should run to Starbucks for. But that's my final 5.3. So I just tried both the plant-based proteins that are available at Burger King and Starbucks, which is the plant-based Whopper that you saw and then the plant-based Starbucks breakfast sandwich. As you can see, there is a huge difference in the rating between the two because of the taste uh, that I experienced. And so I just wanna make a point to say, not all plant-based protein is created equal at fast food restaurants. So I'm doing this for you, trying it, it being your guinea pig, trying out these plant-based proteins because I know as a vegetarian or a vegan, it is very difficult for us to find enough protein in our diet. So these are options and also I have listed on this recent video the amount of protein in each option for the very sake of I'm realizing now that protein is very hard to come by when you're eating vegetables and fruit mostly. So you do need to make sure that you get enough protein in your diet because it does help grow your hair, your nails, and also you need that protein in your diet to get toned. So I'm doing shakes, I'm also doing plant-based protein, beans, and soy. And just so you know, there are certain soys that are not good for you, but the soy like the, I'm talking about tofu, the hard, firm tofu, that is actually good for you. I've seen that in different articles that it is. It's just the, the basically the protein, uh, processed protein that is like in powders and such. You're not really supposed to eat soy in that. So there is some things and you definitely wanna do your own research on that just to make sure what is best and suitable for you and also speak to your doctor on that because I am not a doctor. And just so you know, I am not sponsored by any of these places. I am doing this on my own. I'm doing it so that I can learn as a vegan now on what works best for me and also for you other people out there trying to be healthy and also trying to be vegan or vegetarian. So. Um, the best thing I can tell you is that you definitely want as a woman I, I would say 40 to 46 grams to 60 grams of protein in your diet uh, you can do the math there's actually a calculator for that to see how much protein you should you should intake so do keep a, a look at that when you're going through your day and trying to get enough protein in your diet it's very important and also, um, I have, as you could see, all the ratings from the two places I've gone so far, actually three places I've gone so far, on what it is currently for these items that I'm trying out. And I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna show each time I go to a place or have a shoot a video about some, th some, some fast food place that has these protein plant-based options. I'm gonna write them right here and keep them keep them going. So you just keep an eye out for those and please do stay tuned for that. I just have to shoot it out there because you know I wanna get these videos out to everybody as much as possible and it doesn't cost you a thing. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It helps me so much because I do wanna get my message of encouragement out there. I wanna encourage people to have a healthy diet, have a healthy soul and have a healthy mind. So that's all that I'm all about. And so I hope you do stay tuned for all those videos. I will be basically posting one every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so keep an eye out for that. And also, please like and comment. I do wanna hear from you. I do like feedback. And if you wanna follow me on social media, you wanna be my friend, I would love to be your friend. Uh, I am at both Instagram and Facebook both platforms. I'm at the bold encourager.
So you can find me easily th at those places as well. And if you want to send me a message um, just to you know get some encouragement or just say hi, please do. I'm always open to that. I love hearing from anybody. So I appreciate all your support. I love the things that people say, the comments, everything. It just encourages me to continue to do this for you. Um, I do enjoy this and I hope you have an amazing day.